Hello and welcome back to Ducas Copy TV. Gold has been driven higher in recent weeks due to strong global news. Both the anticipation of a move by the Federal Reserve and the battle of the European Central Bank to save the euro have affected the yellow metal. I'm joined today down the line by Kevin Kerr, President of Kerr Trading International, to give me his professional view on gold and the predictions for its future. Mr Kerr, thank you for joining me. First of all, can you tell me how has the American economy had an effect on the price of gold? Well, uh, pretty much the same problem. You know, here all the rescue packages or all the rescue uh, attempts for the U.S. economy have added to the flight to gold as it's weakened the dollar. Primarily, of course, the Federal Reserve um, continually lowering interest rates in the QE1 and QE2 and most likely now is expected QE3. So this has just decimated the currency, which has made people fly to gold just like they are in Europe. And what about Europe? The president of the European Central Bank, Mario Draghi, promised to do everything in the bank's power to protect the euro, which would in turn see economies such as Italy and Spain's bolstered by perhaps sovereign bond purchases. How did this news affect the metal? Well, it's, it's driven it higher. And I think, you know, I do believe Mr. Draghi uh, is sincere when he says the things he says, uh, but everybody knows how deep this problem runs. Uh, it, it's, it's Spain is very different than Greece. And I don't think, I don't believe anyway, that very many people believe that a simple solution for Spain is at hand. With borrowing costs what they are, um, I, I have no doubt they will pull out whatever measures they can, uh, but the, the situation is grim, let's put it that way, and the markets know it. Now, it did boost the euro, and it has briefly, but the problems are systemic. So, you know, as much as Mr. Draghi has said they will do everything they can, I, I still don't hear any concrete solutions, and I don't think the markets are. So. The outlook is fairly grim for, for the euro and for the dollar, quite frankly, because we hear the same kind of positive messages from Mr. Bernanke, and we're not really seeing any true actions yet that, that are going to turn this thing around, at least from my perspective. So gold continues to benefit from the positive talk, and it moves down a little bit, and then it shoots back up, and that's because investors know. A surge in the dollar yesterday sent commodities in general lower, as platinum, palladium, crude oil and copper joined gold and silver on the downside. Many analysts do not see this as bad news and feel that gold is fairly comfortable. Would you agree? Oh, I do, yeah. I mean, all the commodities pulled back a, a little bit yesterday, and, and they always do when the dollar rallies, of course, for the, for the obvious reasons. But, you know, again, these we look at as buying opportunities for those of us who've been invested in these markets a long time. And that goes across the board, certainly gold, but also agriculture, soft commodities, all of these pullbacks when the dollar rallies, we know are going to be short-lived. At least we've seen that over and over again. So uh, really, this is more of a buying opportunity for the commodities, and especially gold, uh, than more of a selling opportunity. Does the turmoil in Europe and the prediction of rising borrowing costs make gold more attractive as a safe haven? Uh, absolutely. And, and from what I talked about earlier, as these borrowing costs rise, I mean, it's, it's making it more difficult to make purchases. But what that means is that the countries that are being rescued or bailed out are going to have an impossible situation. And, again, long-term, these hard assets are going to be the real flight-to-quality vehicle, not any of the currencies that may recover eventually, uh, not even real estate or anything else. It's going to be hard, tangible assets. Of course, the most portable is gold. So we are going to see a big shoot up in the price of gold. It's going to be very sudden, I think, and fairly swift, even faster than we moved above $1,000. So investors need to know that I would not be on the short side of gold right now or any of the precious metals. And finally, what are your short and long-term predictions for gold? Well, we're, we're stuck in this range at the moment. I think it's going to take a catalyst. It's going to either take a short squeeze, which we are and others are saying is probably imminent. And when we get that short squeeze, I think that will be the catalyst to drive gold much, much higher. Now, I don't like to predict exact prices but certainly out of this range that we've been in for a long time. And, and could easily be over $2,000 an ounce by the end of the year. Uh, it could even go much higher, depending on what the momentum is. So on the short side, though, you know, we, we are seeing a lot of uncertainty here. And the governments uh, of both <laughs> areas, the EU and the U.S., have some wild cards they could play. So we could see some downside pressure, but I don't think that much. So certainly not below $1,000. But we could see them be able to drive it down, you know, to 1400 1300 and squeeze a lot of the longs out that get shaken out. So right now I see a range of 1300 to actually be, in, by the end of the year, uh, above $2,000. Thank you for joining me today, Mr. Kerr, and sharing your insights. That's all from me for now, but click back to our website for more interviews and updates. Goodbye.